Okay, we're back at it again today, aren't we? Yep. Scott, what are we going to find here today? Hopefully some good stuff. <laughs> Hopefully some good stuff. We're back at the, um, I guess, what do you call this? Horseshoe house? or? Yeah, we just call yeah, it. Yeah, horseshoe house. And we actually did a little exploration of this um, on another video. But we're actually on Metal Attack today here. And I just want to just show it to you real quick in case you didn't see the other video. What we have is... Uh, old log cabin here. Just the chimney over there. That's all fallen in, of course. Doors over here. They call it the Horseshoe House because uh, when they stuccoed this place back in around, I think it was 1905, is written in the stucco. They put horseshoe designs. It's really hard to see right there. The, uh, the light's terrible, but yeah, you can see like the horseshoe uh, prints in there. And one thing I'm wondering, and maybe one of you guys might know, is why? Why would they do that? I mean, I've never seen. Someone put horseshoe prints all over a house. You know, what's that all about? Um, so my uh, my original thought when I first saw it was it looked like something out of the Southwest, you know, the American Southwest. Um, but again, that was, it was done in 1905 because that is dated, that part. And it kind of looked almost like a storefront, but you got your door and those louvers. Well, I guess not really louvers, but the wood is where they filled in this breezeway uh, when they, you know, roofed over everything. Let's go ahead and do a little detecting see what we can find out here. I know it's been here a long time, but obviously it was lived in at least up until probably about the mid-1900s. It's probably going to be a lot of junk too. All right, let's get to it. You notice all these corn cobs. This is where deer hunters put the corn out in the fall to track deer so they can shoot them. And you can see that there's daffodils coming up here and then getting ready to bloom. So anytime you see daffodils out in the woods, you know that there's probably a home site nearby. Just any flowers like that, daffodils or irises. That's terrible, man. So it's got good E. Pull tab, which there seems to be a lot of those around here, man. <laughs> Property's loaded with them. But they you know, can recycle those, yeah. you know? <laughs> they could probably take about 10,000 and make a couple of dollars. All right, let's start digging. So I've been searching around for about 15 minutes. I'm sure what I've found. Um, just a lot of junk mostly. I have, um, there's a lot of pull tabs in here and I'm actually not going to dig those signals anymore. Um, they read about 55 or so. Um, so that, this is part of a, like an ink pen lid, I guess. Guessing and, you know, of course some junk. But I did just dig a coin out of this hole. It looks like a penny of some sort. So I'm hoping it's going to be at least a wheat penny. I saw it in here. You should be able, you guys can probably see it right now. I did actually see it. We haven't picked it up yet, though. Well, no. ah, there it is. Okay. All right. So we got a little. Coin. I guess this is a wheat pen. It could be a button, but I'm assuming it's going to be a uh, coin. Looks like Lincoln on there. All right. Big thing. Is it a wheat penny or a memorial scent? It's a memorial scent. I'm going to cry. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Oh my God, it's a memorial scent. It's a memorial scent that's been here a long time too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got little tears. You probably can't really see them right now because they're internal, but I got little tears. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find something old, you know what I mean? <sighs> All right. Next time I'm gonna check it and make sure it's at least a wheat penny before I get you out. I had a big piece of iron here that I was hoping was gonna be like a chest of coins dug dug buried by this great big oak tree which is that's got to be at least two three hundred years old i don't think this is going to be a chest of coins no it's uh probably part of a car or something uh, so we'll leave it because i'm oh cool little hatchet yeah i mean it could be 100 years i don't think it's going to be like super old like pre-civil war or anything but uh, nice little hatch so so well used if you look the reason I'm saying that if you look here you can see how this is really worn back yeah. that's from sharp and many 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 times that's awesome dude congratulations all right no chest of gold coins at the base of the tree so let's uh let's move around beside the house again oh I forgot to tell you too this this is actually an old roadway right here that goes back down toward the plant main plantation house where, where Scott lives uh, into the next road and because it runs down through here and out through there and just keeps on going through the woods You can actually see it when it when you're in the woods. It's kind of uh, sunken down some but this is an old road This is kind of a weird little thing here um, Obviously it has, it's like threaded so it turns it almost reminds me of something you'd see on a musical instrument this part right here um, So I don't know if that's what it is or not, but 
this brass right here and this is like a bakelite or maybe plastic i don't know i'm not sure which uh but that's kind of reminds me of something i've seen well that's kind of reminds me of something i've seen on a uh, some type of musical instrument a little screamer or brassy signal right there now, although i'd like to think it's a fuse of some sort i think it's gonna be like a piece of pipe got threads on it of course you can see where the branch would go around to tighten it down not sure well so that's solid on the end that's kind of weird um so i'm not exactly sure what that's off of but that's going to be fairly you know pro civil war for sure kind of behind the house and off to the side you can kind of see it through the bushes there but weird little trench right there i suspect that could be the privy you know the outhouse what's left of the hole anyway and uh there's a rock there so that tells me there's probably some type of building over here and yeah there's oh okay so those so are logs i thought those were um zero ties somebody piled up so there's another cabin here you know the logs were sitting on these at one time it's pretty much all rotted away i'm um, looking down in here seeing that looks like plastic so um it was used not too long ago i see some looks like fabric over there but yeah so this is all collapsed in on itself i don't think we're going to really see much there but i also noticed while we we're i was getting a camera it looks like there's more stuff over here ah man that's junky left my, left my machine behind let's just walk over here and take a look at it uh, of course there's uh, tires tractor tires and stuff there man that's a big old tree right there isn't it Whee -ah. I think the road bed here, so maybe when it come, came off the house, maybe it came, went down this way. Oh yeah, this is an old barn, I guess. Nice wide planks. But again, I mean, there's like rubber and stuff in here, so this was um, this was lived in and used not that long ago off of a, a harness. Find those little rivets and stuff in the fields. Huh. All right, I'm gonna work my way. I don't even know which way to go. There's so much junk out here, you know? That's a nice big tree, though. Oh, that's cool. Jeez. <laughs> Can I see it? All right, got a chunk of lead, huh? Melted lead. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Well, it's probably better than everything I've found so far. <laughs> yeah, I figured a couple of little relics, but that's, that's interesting. Um, you wonder why they were melting lead now. Some homes, probably not these. Well, I'm digging up from there's a lot of... Uh, little chunks of burnt coal well, let's take a look at that you know some of the uh you know nicer houses than what these probably were you can get lead like that that's actually solder from uh, inter uh plumbing in the house they used to use lead solder so if you're just because you see melted lead you know i'm always talking about how look for camps and soldiers that's a possibility but also remember that they did use it for solder in houses so you find blobs of it in the yard but they're putting the pipe thing fitting together but that's, I don't think that's solder from that. That looks like pure lead, really. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's only See? Yeah, I think that is coal, actually. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Well, I'll have to go find my metal detector. Of course, it's so thick in here. Look at that. So a nice little squeaker here in the roadway as I headed back to Scott and dug this cool little penny up, which I think is a penny. And um, it looks like it's ancient. I mean, I'm thinking this is probably like a flying eagle scent. But I cleaned the other side a little bit. Looky! It's like modern, isn't it? So anyway, I clean, let's clean up the front. I mean, it's like probably like 19, what, 2019 or something. Can you believe it? I think okay, it was ancient. That's some stuff out of the dirt pile up there. Yeah. Oh, cool. What you got? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I don't know either. For sure on that. Some type of little hooky thing. Buckle. Small harness buckles. That's um, that's got a, w a metal strap on yeah. it, doesn't it? Yeah. That's kind of cool, yeah. You might be onto something. Oh, that's a... Uh, gosh, you know what? That, no, I can't say that's going to be Civil War era, but that's a J-hook. Not a J-hook, but a uh, like a knapsack hook. It's broken in half right there. So, it doesn't look Civil War era, but it is definitely like off of a knapsack. So oh, cool. All right, so what I did is I went ahead and dug into this side a little bit. And you see it's nice and dark. It's full of organic matter from the house. And little chunks of coal. And this heavy red clay, that's a natural layer right there. 
So everything right in here was kind of pushed off that road area over to here. So let's just get the pinpointer out and bebop around in there a few minutes and see uh, see what kind of stuff's in there. <laughs> all right, let's see what that is just out of curiosity. Um, all right, so that's some type of little iron hook. Oh, I guess it's a bent over nail, isn't it? Bent over nail. I can't tell if that's a square nail or a round nail. But yeah, uh, yeah, there's so much stuff in here, dude. What we'll have to do is um, let's just get the um, let's just get the metal detector out, and that way we can um, avoid all the nails anyway. Just to see if there's any like gold coins or you know silver medallions in there. What I did is I went ahead and um, I'm going to show you uh, what I'm hunting is zero zero discrimination, maximum sensitivity. I could crank that way down, but I want you just to listen to how much iron's in here. Listen for a good squeaker, decent sized piece right there. Something non fair there, maybe. Just move a little bit of dirt off the top. Could be a little piece of tin, too. But I just want you to hear it. That could be something there. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, grab a couple of those things and see how old they are. I don't drive you nuts with all that noise. I'll just keep it in my headphones. <laughs> All right, so I dug some of this dirt back out of here and mostly just pulling out like little nails. There's a couple up here. This is a square nail. It's a little bit older, but this is a round nail. Um, so that means that's like 1880 or later. So I'm not real happy with that because I want to get pre-Civil War and stay pre-Civil War or at least end of Civil War. But I got a squeaker right in here, I do believe, that is uh, actually underneath the dark stuff. I'm just, you no, know, it's down in the old soil. That might be a goodie. All right, let me set you up. Let's see what's in there. Ready? <laughs> All right. Probably should've got nothing there. See belt buckle? Oh no. You see what I see? That looks like a can to me. Or a lid. Hi, oh, and that was down in the red stuff which is the older stuff. So, I'm not sure what that says. But it's, I think it's actually, it's almost like plastic. It's gotta be metal though, doesn't it? Unless that's not what we're hearing. Revlon. <laughs> Revlon Inc. New York, dis, dis, I guess distributor, I don't know. Um, seven. 0.76 ounces made in USA. So I don't know if that's what we were hearing. Let's check. Yep, that's what we were hearing. Lovely. <laughs> that makeup compact lid was actually underneath the dark stuff in that clay. Um, I mean, there might be some old stuff in the, here, but I think I'm going to go ahead and move out of this area. What's that thing? Oh, I know what that is, I think. I think it's part inside of a mason jar lid, isn't it? Yeah, that's the center part. I do believe, yeah. Some writing right there probably says like ball or something on it. Yeah, it says ball. <laughs> right there. There you go. There. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a signal here in this little trash, this little area. But you can see there's some dark soil, so that's not the old, old soil. Um, and I think whatever it is, is in the dark stuff. It's probably that pull tab. I don't remember what the reading was. All right, here we go. In here. That it? Oh, that's kind of... Well, I thought it was a thimble, but I think it's just a little piece of uh, brassy pipey. A piece of pipe or something. Oh, it's a... Uh, probably a light bulb base to like a, a car. You know, uh, well, it's definitely a bulb. That's the base to a bulb. <laughs> so, the glass would have been up on top there. So, that's not too hot. So, we're back out into like the front of the uh, house here. I got a nice reading. I mean, it's really, really nice reading. Kind of small, like a, a coin. I got it out of the hole. It was actually down at the bottom of that. I'm a little bit hopeful it might be, at least be, oh no, a wheat penny. There it is. That looks like a tag off a, maybe a cat or something, or a dog, you know, a dog's tag or something. I don't know. Feels like aluminum, really. Let's see. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Yeah, so it's actually off an electric pole, 1972. It's aluminum. I was hoping it might be like a dog, somebody's dog tag or something, but it's not. Got another coin, but uh, I'm not feeling too happy about this one either. There's Lincoln. 
All right, wheat penny or memorial? Ah, oh, it's memorial. My oh, gosh, you got a log cabin and we can't even find a wheat penny. That's terrible, isn't it? And right in here, I, I'm hitting some gravel, so I'm kind of hopeful that maybe this is the uh, parking area and we'll find some coins and maybe a coin that's at least a wheat penny. I've got a coin signal here it's out of the ground. I haven't seen it yet, but it should be right in the side. I think it's out of the ground. You know what? It might still be in there. Let me get the pinpointer out. Any scent? Oh, still down there. Careful digging, but see how uh, it's gravelly? So I think what happened is they brought some gravel in uh, to put down where they parked the vehicles. Sounds too big, doesn't it? For a coin. Uh, let me set you up. All right. What I'm doing is kind of digging on the outside of where it should be. Loosen up this way right now. One more. I should have that there, I think. I think it's going to be a piece of junk. Yeah. This is too big for a coin. Probably, uh, you know, another compact or something. But that will tell us. Oh, look, it's a... I guess it's going to be a lighter, maybe. A locker lighter. Uh, but I'm thinking base too, like a lighter, cigarette lighter. Yep, that's what it is. The fact that this is underneath the gravel gives us an idea when they put the con something, I can't even read it. Gives us an idea when they put the gravel down. And um, it was, you know, after they lost this. So I'm not happy with that at all. I'm gonna, one more signal in there, then I'm gonna move out. It's such a shame too, cause you know, you just never know when you're around these old houses, but this is a, you know, obviously, they didn't have a lot of money, whoever lived here, and they didn't lose a whole lot. You don't know until you go. But we know now because we went. <laughs> Took a chunk of melted lead. Right where the chunk junk was. What you got? Oh yeah. Can I see it? Yeah. That's a round ball. That's weird. Probably I guess it's five. Right. Looks like that little dude off of uh that Star Trek done it. The guy that makes all the deals. Yeah. <laughs> Ferengi. One of those Ferengi dudes. Oh uh, yeah, so that's a nice round ball. Nice big heavy one, but I guess it's fired. At least you just think it's skunked. For old stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've basically just been finding like modern coins, and I got a light, you know, part of a lighter and stuff down there. There's a bunch of gravel right there, so I think that's where they parked the vehicles. But I mean, the lighter was underneath the gravel, so it's not that old. <sighs> you got a cigarette lighter? Yeah, it's broken up one. Yeah, yeah it's just junk. I, I mean, it's in the bag. You can have it if you want it, yeah. but it's not yeah. like a cool Zippo or something. I guess people collect those, but. Uh, yeah, if that was dropped, I'd be really excited, but I think it's fired, man. What do you think? Probably. Yeah. Is it worth looking around some more over there? I didn't really look around too much over there. I kind of zipped through it. Getting into, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let me think about this. Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth.